G'day guys, Luke here from Australian Off-Road. Um, back with the Quantum Series 5. So we're going to do a quick video today in the showroom, um, highlighting internal and external storage. So it is a very common asked question of what storage do we have, um, especially inside. So we are going to jump to that. But first, I'm going to take you around the outside, show you the lockers, kind of highlight what most customers would tend to store in there. Um, and then obviously we'll veer inside and I'll show you the inside storage as well. So starting with the main part of the quantum in terms of the external kitchen. So you have got a huge amount of storage externally. So if I kind of start opening some compartments, you'll kind of see where all this storage comes from. So you've got the slider cost pantry on the side of the fridge, um, which everyone's different. But for me, I tend to store groceries in there or I may put some of the deeper pots and pans in there. Obviously, you've got your fridge freezer which is going to be a 60 40 split so you've got 60 percent ratio towards the fridge and then you've got 40 percent ratio towards the freezer so again that's going to be food unless you want to store something different in there you've then got cutlery drawer underneath so again cutlery um some people may use that for different items for me that's cooking utensils if we're if we've got things there for the barbecue but predominantly knives forks spoons all them kinds of things We've then got the main drawer underneath the kitchen itself, which obviously is quite deep. So for, for us, this tends to be things like um, smaller frying pans. We do have some quite short pans as well that we'll use on the smaller hob, so they tend to fit in there as well. Um, plates, cups, saucers, kind of all your crockery items. But being that we're traveling as a two, we don't tend to fill this. Um, but obviously, you can get quite a lot of storage in here. So some of the time, we may even put some alley foils and tea towels and things like that in there being that it's got that divider in there it does help you've then got these two nice drawers above your external kitchen and um, now these have been included as part of the five so they do come in handy now these have got removable dividers in there so we put them in there to obviously allow you to to let's say more lock items in so they're not moving around as much but obviously if you've got taller items or longer items should i say you can take them dividers out and then set them to where they need to be or just completely take them out altogether. So entirely up to you, a bit more customizable to what you plan on putting in there. Things that you could put in here may include things like chopping boards. Again, if you take the dividers out, um, alley foils, kitchen rolls, tea towels, just all them smaller items that you're not too worried about moving that you can just tuck away in one of them drawers. And obviously there's convenience there that you can pull these out over the kitchen. Uh, letting you on a, on a bit of insight knowledge in terms of the internal section that we've got here um, between the two drawers. So if you ever see a quantum, whether that's a new quantum or an older quantum that's got this blanked off where it's got an actual, let's say an aluminium cover over the top of that or a stainless steel plate, that is because that trailer will have air conditioning. So that is actually a ducting pathway where we can run the ducting up to the side of the mattress. Now, if there's a quantum that doesn't have air con, exactly like this one, this just gives you an area where really it's just usable space for you to chuck things. And that for me is a very handy spot for kitchen rolls because it's pretty much the right size to just get them in there. Um, but again, boxes, things like that, if you've got tubeware containers, you can, you can chuck them away in there or tea towels if you're just trying to get them out of the way. We then move across to one of the main features of the Quantum, um, which is only a feature on the Quantum. And obviously a lot of people love this about the Quantum is that you've got the internal pantry, which is built into the actual trailer. So the idea of this, again, being that it's in this external kitchen area, is that you can chuck all your things like your sauce bottles, your tins, your spices, um, tubeware containers, cereal boxes. You can get all these things in here where you've got clear access to them. If the weather's not good or the bugs are around, you can just close this down. So you can just easily grab things as you need to. And obviously, as you can see, there is a light in there. So you can individually turn that off if it needs to. Um, so you've got full control in there, but very, very handy area in that you've got full access and you can just grab things down, put them down onto your actual prep slide where you've got area then and they're out of the way. So this is external kitchen. We've kind of covered everything in this area. So if I'm just to open all these compartments up just to give you an idea, it kind of shows to you all these areas that you've got to play around with for kitchen storage. So being that the quantum is external living, you've kind of got everything you need externally here. So you're not having to traipse in and out for anything. So external kitchen's covered. So then moving round to some of your external lockers. Um, firstly, just touching on 
the little handy pole carrier storage hatch that we've got here. Um, so you don't tend to have many poles now with the trailers, but you do get an anti-flap kit as standard with the Quantum. Some of the other models it won't be, but that would be fundamentally where you would store your anti-flap kit. But it also comes in handy for things like fishing rods. Um, you can get the ladders that can press in, so they will actually fit in there as well. So again, just as a storage access that you've got from both sides and um, good for just them poles and longer items that you need to tuck out of the way. We then move across to the front of the nose cone, as we call it, where we've got one of our bigger storage areas. Now, Ree's going to give you a good shot inside this so you can kind of get a full perspective of how big that boot is. Um, there's some good points to this in that, obviously, you've got one big area where you can store a lot of them items. The biggest thing I try to outline here is just obviously be aware of the implications of what you put in this, especially if it's heavier items. It is going to have an impact on this ball weight. So I tend to say to people, this is going to be ideal for things like camp chairs, which are bigger, but not necessarily too heavy. Um, your canvas, if you're carrying canvas, your floor matting, hoses, leads, stuff like that. Things that are going to be kind of bulky items, take up a bit of room, but not necessarily heavy items. So that is going to be great for that. And again, that is a really big area. Um, you've got the firewood rack above, which you can store all your wood on there. Um, so a lot of people are confused as to what this is when they see this for the first time. But it is designed in that if you're chopping your own wood or you're actually buying what, um, wood in bags, you can just chuck that in there and then you would tend to rope it in. So you've got all eyelets all the way through where you can just put hockey straps in or rope through and then obviously pull some tension on this, which in most cases this lid would tend to travel about here then once it's all strapped in. So then moving around to our driver's side. So driver's side of the Quantum, you are going to have three lockers. Now this is going to be the same on the Quantum Plus as well. So everything I've kind of touched on so far in here is identical to the Quantum Plus. So three lockers down this side. One is taken up with the two gas bottles. So really that's not going to be any storage to, to be used, let's say. Next compartment in the middle is going to be our pull-out storage bin. Now, being that this is getting a little bit closer to the axle than, let's say, the front storage area that we've just worked on, um, this is going to be ideal for starting to get some heavier items, but also take into account that this is the only pull-out bin you have. So I would tend to say put in here what you know you're going to be grabbing each time you're setting the trailer up so you've got quick, easy access, rather than obviously, let's say, trying to rummage through what's in the front where you've got things at the bottom and you need to take 20 things out to get to that. This is going to be ideal for things like your... Your stabilizer leg brace, which you need to get out most times to drop your stabilizer legs down. Um, it could be things like your um, some of your hoses, some of your leads, chocks, um, toolboxes, things like that. I mean, carrying capacity-wise, we do restrict this to 50 kilos, but even then at 50 kilos, you can still get a lot in here. And obviously, you can see that it sits a fair way out from the trailer, so it gives you a nice, easy access into this. <laughs> So then moving on to the last compartment on the driver's side, which is going to be the closest compartment to the axle. So ideal for the heavy items that you're taking. So if you are carrying a toolbox with a lot of items in, if you're carrying a jack, um, you know, things that we know are going to be heavy, a lot of your four-wheel drive gear accessories, you can tend to fit them in here because that's going to be offset a lot more by the axle rather than passing a lot of that weight forward. Um, so really good for that. Also, the one thing for me that I do tend to store in there, which I'm going to show you on this one, is going to be a little baby Q barbecue. So a lot of people ask whether it will fit in there. I'm just going to showcase that now so everyone knows I'm not telling lies when I tell them it will fit. So that's the smallest of the baby Q Webers. Will fit in there, no worries. And you've obviously still got room around that to pack items on top of this little area where the aluminium boxing is. You can still sit things on there. You've still got a bit of room in front. So you can stop that from moving by obviously packing around that. So that kind of covers your external storage. Um, we've covered kitchen area, main storage through the front and then the driver's side. So we're now going to take a bit of a walk and we're going to go inside and have a look at some of the internal storage in there. Okay, so moving inside the Quantum. So as we walk into the trailer... As we come into the back of the trailer, we've got what we call the rear vanity. Um, so this area obviously houses the most internal storage that we've got in this trailer, um, which predominantly would be soft storage. So this is going to be things like your clothing, um, linens, towels, 
obviously depending on how long you're going for will depend on how much you're taking but just to give you an idea of the size of these draws so the you've got three draws that are all going to be this size so they're really good in depth in height um, but obviously nice and wide and you do get quite a bit of depth there as well so you will tend to get quite a lot of clothing in there and um, so just to show you the other ones so you can kind of see the three drawers in that size you do also have a small drawer above that and um, which can just be electrical items and um, it could be undergarments if you've got some smaller stuff that you just want to chuck in there and then the handy storage which is really good underneath um, is just an open area which actually sits on the departure angle and that is awesome for things like shoes and um, thongs sandals stuff like that you can just chuck them all out of the way where they're going to retain in from this lip that's going to hold them so when you're traveling they're not moving out and um, but you've obviously got quick and easy access to them but they are out of the way so they're your main drawers in the trailer at the rear you also then have some smaller drawers which are going to be underneath the bed so again depending on what you're traveling with this could be if you've got a few towels if you've got sheets for bedding again it could be electrics we have a lot of people that travel with laptops and stuff if they're working on the road this might be where they kind of house them when they when they're leaving the trailer somewhere for the day um but yeah you've got three that'll all be the same size you've got quite a bit of depth there height wise you're playing around with it i guess around about 80 to 90 mil so again you can put quite a bit in there to store uh, when you need to so your three drawers under the bed there isn't going to be any storage under seating in the quantum unfortunately so that's kind of all occupied with your electrics your componentry which you would see in some of the other videos that we've done alrighty so we've covered the drawers under the bed the last bit of internal storage i'm going to touch on is going to be the corner cabinet so this is just going to be in the quantum 14 it's not in the plus um, the corner cabinet really is tailored around being able to use more when you're stationary so being able to sit phones and cameras and things like that on so i kind of call it a charging station but you have got a bit of storage in that this bottom area has actually got a retaining lip on there which you will be able to store store items that are quite tall in there and um, so during travel things like that you can leave a lot of books and um, it may just be things for the shower you may have things like shower gels or toothbrushes in that area um, but yeah it kind of just shows you that storage that can be obviously utilized in there as well so that taking into account the rear vanity the three drawers under the bed really you, you're mainly aiming at soft storage internally so that's where this trailer differs to some of the other models in that predominantly you've got external storage which is going to be all your kitchenware in that external kitchen area and then obviously your traveling gear in the outside lockers that we touched on and then inside is really going to be clothing towels shoes undergarments some electrics things like that so that's going to be kept between these items but yeah hopefully that gives you a good idea to the storage that you've got in the quantum internal and external